All right, guys, how are we doing today? I got myself a Mr. Dark animatronic, and we're gonna do an unboxing setup and demo. So let's get started. So looking at the box here, this thing is pretty big. Um, and it comes like obviously pre-closed. But if we look here, it says startling springing action rises from 4.75 feet to 8.83 feet tall. So that's, yeah, it's quite impressive. I've never seen this in person. I got this online, uh, my store near me, they haven't even set it up yet. So this will be my first time seeing it in person. Uh, speaks spooky threats with scary sound effects and it's sound and motion activated. Uh, sometimes Techie likes to put little poems about them. Oh, here we go. Uh, Mr. Dark is waiting. He's always waiting. He's tucked away in the shadowy corners of a room, patiently crouched in the midnight of a long alley or shrouded in parts of your mind you are afraid of when you fall asleep. Mr. Dark is there being, biding his time and growing bigger every minute, feeding on your fear, anxiety, and wicked thoughts and growing stronger each minute. Then before you know it, his evil darkness has enveloped you and your soul. Don't blink because it's already happening to you. Bum, bum, bum. So that's pretty cool. Uh, Techie always likes to throw nice little poems on there. I think the other companies do it too, but I've uh, only bought Techie props from Spirit. And uh, Techie has been on a really good roll these past two years, first with Harvester of Souls and now Mr. Dark. Um, so they've been putting out some really, really cool stuff. And are really my top two favorite animatronics, Harvester of Souls and Mr. Dark. But with that said, let's get this guy unboxed. All right, so we're gonna start. We got two tabs on the back here. Open her up. All right. Now, this thing, the head is a lot bigger than I thought it would be. instruction manual that we'll go over in a second. We have our launch pad. Secondary base part. the all-important scissor lift which is really a lot sturdier than I thought it was and there's warning labels all over this thing so that's when you know it's gonna be a good prop so we're going to open up our instructions I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit uh, but we're still gonna read instructions uh, gives your standard step pad stuff, but we don't need that. We're just gonna go off the sensor today. Then we have your standard techie toys manual. 
Um, I should uh, we also got an adapter in this little end cap piece. I'm uh, not sure what that's for yet, but we shall find out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're connect the base parts together. <laughs> it all set up uh, when you set it up it does bring itself into the up position and the thing is monstrous I mean the, the camera does not do it justice uh, but we're gonna plug it in and it's gonna do its little thing and hopefully it doesn't snap in half There we go. Now, hopefully. Wow, that is actually insane. That is crazy. I'm not in love about how I feel the need to adjust the clothing, but it should be fine. That is crazy. We'll set it off one more time for you and then we'll chat. So this guy is super, super, super cool. Uh, probably my all-time favorite animatronic from Spirit Halloween. Um, maybe my favorite animatronic in general from uh, all the Halloween companies. Really, really cool. Techie, like I said, has just been on fire with these amazing props that they've been coming out recently. Um, and their build quality has been improving and that really shows in this prop because this mechanism is so sturdy. Um, I, I saw videos of people putting it together and I was like, that metal looks a little flimsy, but I'm telling you that thing is solid. Uh, it's not going anywhere. I do have, I, I, it comes with sandbags, but I have, a, I have a brick holding it down like that. Hopefully you can see it. Um, but, you know, just the one on there seems to be holding it pretty well. I recommend putting it on the front side because the back side it's not really doing anything because it launches forward, not backwards, right? So that's why you want to have it uh, uh, in the front. The sensor itself, not as sensitive as I would like it, but uh, I have a feeling a lot of people aren't 
going to be doing it on sensor anyway. Uh, me personally, I'm going to be doing it on remote. Uh, I think that's probably the most optimal way to set this guy off is with a remote, in my opinion. Step pad may work, but you really want to make sure that the person is back so that they, they can see the whole thing lunge forward, you know? But he's going to be a hit at the haunted house this year. I'm, uh, I don't think, maybe next year I'll do a haunted house build series, but I do have a big uh, video planned for a full walkthrough of all my past haunted houses. I've done, this'll be, this'll be my third full haunted house and my second haunted house open up to the public. So that's pretty exciting, but this guy, really, really, really cool. And I highly recommend you can pick him up if you can find him. Like I said, my store right by me just got him in. I don't even think he's set up yet. I got this guy online, but he's hard to find online. I got him uh, when he happened to not be out of stock, which was uh, quite magical in itself. But... Uh, I got him, and there was a little bit of a shipping problem. If you do order him online, don't expect to get him in the two to four business days because they have a lot of problem, lots of problems getting the animatronics out right now uh, because too many people order and they don't have enough time to update the website. That's what I was told from tech support. But I got him now, took about two weeks for him to arrive to the house. And I had to talk to tech support for them to redo my order. But you'll get him either way. I do not recommend trying to find him on eBay for $700. I do not recommend trying to do that uh, because there's a lot of scammers out there too. So see if you can find him in the store. I imagine a lot of stores are starting to get all their animatronic shipments now because my personal store, they got all of like most of their new stuff like just now so i recommend trying to look in your store and just check the website every day just to see if stuff comes back in stock i know that the grave digger is also really hard to find this year i don't know why but i i know he's hard to find in stores and he might be out of stock and i imagine if you want to get henry hustle he's he's very popular this year so you might want to uh, do a little bit of scouting around for him. With all that said, Mr. Dark, super cool prop. Recommend, I highly recommend buying him if you can. Uh, the retail is $250. I got him for $230 because there are hard to find coupons that we usually get for 25% off as opposed to the 20% off or the 15% off. But if you can find a 25% off coupon, if you're gonna use it on anything, use it on a really good animatronic like this. Anyways, with all that rambling out of the way, uh, great prop, 10 out of 10, five out of five, whatever rating system you wanna use, okay? 99 out of 100. Great prop, I do wish he had a little bit more detail, maybe a hood of some sort. It's a very basic design for the head, but nonetheless, very cool and uh, you know, it, I, know, I know there's a lot of videos out there of demos, but if you can see them in person, it's really quite an experience. With all that out of the way, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully with a fully built haunted house. See ya.